Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another awesome lesson where we can demonstrate that we really, really understand the attitudes of flight. So my friends, let's get cracking. For today's project, I need you to double click Google Earth Pro and wait for it to launch and get to this screen. All right, friends, for this project, we're gonna do some things that are pretty cool. I want you over on the left side, click the arrow beside 3D buildings and make sure you have photorealistic and gray turned on. Do not turn on trees. Do not turn on anything else because it can slow down your computer. Once you've got that, our job is to find a cool large city. Uh, Los Angeles, New York City, Dallas, Chicago, Detroit, any place you pick, type it and press enter. You can even visit places around the world like Dubai and Paris, uh, France, whatever you pick. When you get there, I need you to zoom in quite close towards your place. Notice if I put my mouse over the words, it shows me where the place is. And I want you to get close enough so that you can see there are buildings. That lets you know you're under 10,000 feet most likely. Once you get there, use tools and enter flight simulator. And when it launches, we want the SR-22, and you can hit start flight, and then immediately hit pause, which is the space bar. Your job is going to be to get four different screenshots that show you understand straight and level flight, yaw, pitch, and roll. Let's start by getting our straight and level flight. When you hit the space bar again, it unpauses, shut off your flaps, and then if you look at the front of your screen, mine shows negative 20, negative 20, negative 15, negative 10, negative 5, 0. When I finally got it at 0, and you'll see that little crosshair touch it, get a space bar, and I want you to use the snipping tool to get a screenshot of that project. When you hit new, it'll go gray, and you can grab that, and it shows me that you understand how to get straight and level flight. In the snipping tool, I want you to switch to your red pen, and I want you to circle that you've got it at zero, zero. I want you to also circle that you've got these centered. This is your rudder and ailerons, where this one's the ailerons, this is the rudder. Circle the speed that you're traveling at real quick. And then also circle the height that you're at, which for me is about 1,500 feet. And then I want you to label this one level. When you're done with that, click the Save button, and of course, we put it in the Downloads folder. And I want you to name it Level. I'm going to save over top of a previous one and just tell it yes, but that's how I want you to type it. And then you can close that. I'm going to press Spacebar to start flying again, and the next one I want you to show me is that you understand Yaw. Remember, that is doing Shift and touching the arrows. All I did was touch twice, and you can see that my plane is moving to the right. I'm going to pull up so that I don't crash. I want it still close to zero. But my plane is spinning around its axis instead of rolling. Now, I just touched my arrow keys accidentally. I'm going to pull up to get that back level. And I'm going to press 5 to center it and try again. So I lost a little bit of control of my plane. If you end up crashing, I'm going to actually just stick this one in the ground so I can show you what I want you to do if you crash. And the crashes aren't that painful, which is nice. Just resume flight if you do crash. So once again, I'm using shift in my arrows. So the only thing I'm doing is using the rudder, spinning around, and getting a picture where you can tell that I'm using yaw. Or the rudder to turn it. Right here, I'm going to pause the simulation. I'm going to go back to my screenshot tool. This is a boring picture. I really want you to find cooler pictures, but I'm just showing you the project that I want us to do. With your screenshot taken, I want you to switch to that red pen again. And I want you to circle where you've got your rudder a little bit off. And I want you to draw an arrow as straight as you can, showing that you've got your aileron centered. And then also, Note that you're spinning around this axis. Notice these are not straight and level anymore. And then, of course, over here, I want you to write yaw because you are in yaw mode right now, and you did it with the rudder. Now I am writing with the mouse, so you can see it is really, really scribble-rific. 
but that is still fun and cool and make sure you've got it labeled when you're done of course hit save and then we're going to put it in our downloads folder and I want you to put yaw. I did it once before, so I'm going to put a two after mine. If you have more than one picture, that is fine as well. With it saved, I want you to close it. Press space bar, start flying again. Remember, you can press five, and it centers these. You can see right here, they both went back to center. And now I'm going to go find something more interesting for my next picture. I'm going to go lower, too, so that I can actually see the buildings better. So right now, I am demonstrating pitch. I'm just using the up and down arrows. I'm a little bit off on my ailerons. You can see they were not centered. If I hit five, they do center again. Now I'm finding some cool buildings. There's a football field down there. I don't know a lot about Los Angeles, but this would be a cool way to learn about it. If you did have a place that you did know, that may make this even more fun. I'm going to press five to center everything again. If you can hear my fingers pressing the keys, it's just gentle taps of the up and down. And then always going back to five if I need to center it. Whoa, that would be a cool screenshot. Notice if I pause and let it catch up, it draws it even nicer. OMG, I've got the Hollywood sign out in front. So I have just decided I'm going to fly towards the Hollywood sign. And then I'm going to demonstrate that I understand roll. But when I get to that, I'm going to do a roll and get that screenshot in the picture. So I'm going to pull up so I don't crash. Press my 5. I'm getting close to the Hollywood sign. And you can see right now I have banked my plane. And when I get it so that I'm in control, so that's good, I'm going to hit space bar. You can see right here I'm proving that I'm using the ailerons. So now I'm going to get a screenshot of this item. Once again, snipping tool new I'm gonna grab the area that's cool I'm gonna use my little tools I'm gonna switch pens I want to do a red pen and I'm going to point at this spot right here so that shows I understand the ailerons and I'm gonna also point at this spot right here and then how about we circle the spot that we thought was coolest in our picture so I was pretty happy I found the Hollywood sign and I'm gonna even use this pen I'm going to write down roll so I know which picture this is by looking at it and it is done using the ailerons and it practice is spelling the different words ailerons is a-i-l-e-r-o-n-s and if you want to add something cool put a smiley face once again save it make sure you're back in your downloads folder and this one was capture and it was roll ailerons the more we practice spelling those the better we're going to be at understanding the different attitudes of flight when you're done with that close it and let's restart the simulator I'm gonna press 5 to get it back to level I want to go find something else cool and we're gonna show pitch press 5 to get that level again I forgot to do the shift and turn once again, if you crash, which I'm going to just stick this in the ground because I got out of control, just resume flight. Let's capture one more cool screenshot. This one we're going to do just pitch, and I want it either aiming down towards the ground or aiming up towards the sky. When we catch this one, make sure that you have it as centered as you can. We don't want either the ailerons or the rudder in place. And just have it so you're aimed at some cool building. Pick whichever one you want to find. Press your spacebar to pause it and then get your screenshot. We want to note how fast you got it going, where you're aiming, and that everything was centered. I'm going to click on my snipping tool. And once again, we're going to grab a snip. We're going to pretend that I cared about this cool building. I'm going to grab my little pen, make sure it's back on that red pen again because I like that. We're going to circle the speed we were at. We're going to circle that both of these were centered. Ooh, that's a horrible circle. If you don't like your circle, you can hit erase and get rid of it. I'm going to draw that again. That's more what I was looking for. And then you can draw an arrow pointing at the building you were aiming at and show what feet you took your picture as well. Notice I'm just underlining that. Make sure we label this one as pitch. 
and we control it with the elevators. Of course, when you're done, make sure you hit save. And we're going to put that in the downloads. And this one is pitch and elevators. When you've got that saved, we can close it. Press space, try and pull out of that so you don't crash. And you can have a little bit of fun just flying around and checking out the sights. Alrighty friends, I hope you had a ton of fun using the flight simulator. I hope you also mastered the flight controls and how they affect the attitudes of flight. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.